What's really interesting for me as I've been walking around uh, in closed door sessions or panel discussions is the degree to which um, contextual relevance, uh, brand safety has come up in, as a key, key topic in our discussions. Um, it's clear that transparency matters. Uh, what's important about that is the degree to which everyone wins when you start to link advertisers' messages to the actual content that aligns most with that brand's message. And so a lot of benefits, a lot of need, but not a lot of people are speaking about if that's even possible and how do you actually do that, especially within the realm of video. So tell us how your conversation is going and progress with the Iris TV. Right, so as it relates to uh, the comments that I was making a moment ago for uh, for this need for relevance of advertising as linked to content, um, in video, there's really no easy way to solve for it, right? So uh, in, in digital display advertising, it's quite straightforward. You scrape web pages and you look for, using natural language processing, what it is that that page or that article consists of, and then you can sell brand advertising against it. Um, in television, you have a little bit of contextual type advertising, uh, in part because of the, uh, the ability to, to know what show, uh, on, what, uh, on what broadcast network, maybe the show title. Um, but again, not a lot of fidelity in terms of what is the true nature of the content that viewers are watching in order to connect that back to advertising, to tie them together for a truly relevant, personalized experience. And so, so this is where it's become very interesting because now that's starting to change. Uh, for us, we were naturally being asked by virtue of our very large uh, publisher and broadcaster client base, hey, if you understand everything about our video content, if you understand everything about the consumption of that content on behalf of our business, helping us to drive more engagement, keeping an audience watching more video longer, can you reveal some of that information back to our advertising side of the business so that we can package up and better differentiate our available ad inventory? And the answer was yes, absolutely possible. We're already integrated with every player and every content management system in the market. So thus, begun, thus has begun uh, the, the first real uh, push into solving for creating uh, a means for contextual uh, brand safe based ad targeting in video. Great, and your clients are, your customers range uh, from? So a range of, uh, of really the, the tier one broadcasters and, uh, and digital video publishers, and we work in every market globally. Um, can't really say the name of this specifically, but in the past two weeks, two brand new um, clients, one of them uh, top, top three, a major broadcaster here in the US, um, signed up with us, uh, and another uh, major OTT uh, platform as well. Great, and uh, you guys raised some money from Bertelsmann uh, recently? Well, it's not that recent um, BDMI earlier on, um, but what's great about our business, particularly as it re relates to investors, is that the core offering that we've been going to market with hasn't really changed, and it's only um, found more resonance as an industry uh, ripe with disruption right now is looking to figure out and fight for building audiences. Because no, the classic case here in the world of ad tech is that if you don't have audiences, you have nothing to monetize against. Whether it's ad supported or it's some subscription model, so you must have audiences. So coming at it from a content first perspective is where we really built our chops. You know, Andy, real classic thing. When you look at the, the kind of the technologies, right, that underpin this entire industry, you've always had this world of, right, advertising technology and then content technology and the stacks and then the teams and the organizational models and the economics that support and utilize to deliver value these stacks. But very rarely have they really spoken together. Um, because of our unique position within this market, we actually bring both the content decisioning and the advertising decisioning much more closely together. And frankly, if you really want to deliver on the concept of relevance, right, and create that personalized stream 
from the ads you see to the content you experience, and then ultimately tie that to some outcomes for an advertiser or brand that says like, yes, actually targeting these individuals in these ways has driven this amount of uplift in product movement or some other deliverable, you have no choice but to start to link these tools together. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, Facebook and YouTube, they're good examples of uh, businesses that do it. But we all know how successful they've been, unfortunately to the detriment in some cases of many other media properties and advertisers where we, we've heard loud and clear they want um, they want the ability to to reach a broader set uh, through a broader set of, of different partners, um, their audiences. You just can't put all the eggs in that basket. A lot of them, not all. <laughs>